In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate a day of joy, a day of hope for all of us as Christians. We celebrate the feast of all saints, those who are recognized by the church, and those that are not. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves and call to mind our sins. <laughs> Lord Jesus, you came to gather nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in war and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth in the We praise you, we bless you, we honor you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Son of the Son of the Son you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, be God on earth. You are still the one who made the Father, have mercy on us. For you are the one who made the Father, you are the one who made the with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of Let us pray. <coughs> Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, be so on us, we pray, to the prayers of so many intercessors, the abundance of your reconciliation with you, by which we earnestly long. We ask this to Christ, our Lord. Amen. until we put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who have been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of Israel. After this, I had a vision of a great multitude, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the land, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out with a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne, and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne, and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshipped God, and exclaimed, Amen. Blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.
said John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope, based on him, makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Saints 
In fact, yesterday we had a beatification of Mother Michael in the evening. Mother uh, Michael, next to the mothers of hunger, and it's an Italian parish priest. But I believe that holiness happens within the community. In today's gospel, we hear Jesus saying, Blessed are those who mourn, or blessed are those who suffer. And they are blessed precisely because they are part of the community. In those moments when life becomes difficult and hard, we don't have to endure it alone. We are not in isolation. <coughs> we have each other to support each other, to encourage each other, and to pray for each other, to be present for each other, whether there is mourning, suffering, or persecution, whether we are hungry or thirsty. We are now alone in the church in the body of Jesus Christ, we do it in a community. Today's Gospel reveals to us that you know what? Saints have hard time on never to. Life can be very challenging and difficult. And saints became saints not in despite the difficulties they found, but to the difficulties they found. In their struggles for life, they manage to stay faithful. They manage to stay true to the Lord and His Word and His values. It was through difficult moments that they became saints, and it can be that way for us. Whether we are in a stressful workplace, difficult marriage, terminal illness, or a struggle of age, we believe that in those moments it can be grace. We believe that it can be holiness, and we respond with love and care as we move and form our ways to sin, sin. May the Lord, as we continue this celebration, be with us always. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things peaceful and peaceful. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Word of the Father.
heaven intercedes for all of us the offer place of our prayers today. That the worldwide church will always grow strength and perseverance as exemplified by all the unnamed saints who stay true to their calling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That all who suffer the violence of war be blessed with lasting peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. That all who hunger and thirst for righteousness be blessed with the fullness of truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For scientists, health professionals, public officials, and all who are serving the common good in this challenging and uncertain time, that they will be filled with insight, wisdom, and success in their efforts. Let us pray, Lord. For the sick of the age, that they will receive the care and support they need, especially for Mary Jo Dalton, David Forsyth, Betty Festa, Simon Fitzpatrick, Kaylani Palmer, Brian Rothko, Kyle Button, Rita Dunnell, Katie Holcomb, Lynn Tenoya, Joseph Weber, Laura Lucy, Robert E. Philippe, Phil, uh, Bill McCarthy, and Janet Vicente. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, that they may be heirs to the eternal life of God, and especially for Pasquale and Angela Marie and Carmine De Gregorio, John Marie Sanson, Patricia and Michael Brown, and Josephine Help, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. For the prayers we offer in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Holy and immortal God, who you preserve your people in time and time, hear and answer our prayers, which we enjoy to those saints in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs>
to be already insured with mortality. So we make this appearance that they're concerned for our salvation through Christ, our Lord. Amen. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father Almighty, in eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. To her we eagerly taste as fragrance and dancing by faith. Rejoicing in the glory so that upon those exalted members of your church, through whom you give us in our reality both a strength and good example. And so we glorify you with a multitude of saints and angels as one voice of praise we acclaim. To holy, to holy, to Lord and our God. Saints, and with all the saints, in 
whose constant intercession in your presence to their life and to their health. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray, O Lord, advance in peace and salvation all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your prayer in church on earth with your several Francis, our Pope, and then our Bishop, the order of bishops and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained through your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of all of us whom you have sworn before you, and your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children as carried throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you are their passing from this life, give kind of meetings to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on that world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the same use of men, and from my divine teaching, now we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Uh,
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in your saints, we implore your grace with our coming to the perfect holiness and the fullness of your love when we pass from this program table to the banquet of heavenly Bank homeland, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the Masses end. Thanks. 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 Thanks.